Hello friends, how are you doing today? Today's tarot and oracle reading is a May 2020 prediction for the zodiac sign of Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you don't know what the different aspects of your natal chart are, please let me know down in the comments and I can help you find that information. So Scorpio, how are you guys doing? It has been a while. I feel like it's been a while since I've been able to read for you. Um, so let me know down in the comments how you guys are doing um, and what's been going on, okay? So let's get started with your May 2020 predictions. So what is the energy surrounding Scorpio this May? What can we expect? The energy surrounding Scorpio this way. Thank you, the Guardian. The King of Vessels. This is interesting energy. It's like you're coming into your own in terms of who you want to be, in terms of your spirituality, in terms of your confidence. You're starting to stand a little bit prouder, a little more self-assured. The word alignment is coming into my head. This heron, I mean, herons look like such ancient creatures. They almost look like dinosaurs. Um, the way they move, the way they, like, just the way they look, the way they hold themselves. It's very, very ancient, very reminiscent of an older time. And I feel like this month you're coming, you're kind of connecting with this energy. We are all... Um, you know, just living a temporary human experience. And I feel like you are going to be able to start connecting more with your higher self on the other side, a more ancient wisdom that you hold within yourself. And that's what this guardian and this, this guardian is the connection between the two realms. clarification on the king of vessels please I don't know if this is you on you know a, a spiritual awakening journey um, or if it's more earthly and just embracing yourself embracing your confidence Discovering a new level of self-love. They could be both connected. Thank you. Yeah. DNA. Again, this is something within you that you're bringing to the surface. And with these two snakes on either side of the pole, this is a very balanced image. The double helix, very balanced, very much in alignment. <laughs> the heron. This is something, this isn't learning something new. This is embracing something that you have had inside of you and it's just it's finally coming up to the surface finally um I don't know if it's you finally recognizing it um or being willing to share it with others you have the penguin a period of darkness that you've been expecting is now passing Sorry, you've been experiencing, not expecting. Yeah. It's coming out of this on the other side. Seeing what is deep down within. 
Perhaps you've been doing some shadow work or will be doing some shadow work. Shedding light on what's been troubling you. I don't know if this is work that you've been doing in April and you're stepping into this energy in May. Or if May is going to be, um, you know, this, this period of darkness. And not darkness in a negative way, but just, you know, shining light into the dark places of your being. Perhaps circumstances globally have um, created a desire within you to better understand. So you have the Roadrunner. Keep your sense of humor and don't take things too seriously. And then you also have the Unicorn. Indulge your creative, imaginative, and magical side through some form of artistic expression. Both the Roadrunner and the Unicorn, they speak of, you know, lightheartedness, expression. It is, you know, as we had the penguin here, as this period of darkness is passing, you can step into this Unicorn and Roadrunner energy, finding it easier to, <laughs> easier to laugh at yourself. That might be something um, with when you're shedding light onto your shadows, your triggers do not overwhelm you um, as easily as they may have. And you'll be able to see past those triggers and find joy in moments that perhaps were troublesome for you before. You'll be able to see the other side. Um, and with this unicorn, you know, this is also just, you know, creating being imaginative, living kind of in a flow state. The the DNA here card here, the, the karma, the snakes just slithering around. It's almost like they flow across the surface of the land, right? Penguins flow through the water, the herons flow through the air. I feel like this coming May especially if you can put in this work. Again, I don't know if you're starting this kind of shadow work in May or if you're transitioning to the other side of this work, but this is going to lead you down a path where getting into a flow state will be so much easier, whether it is for artistic expression, whether it's for your job, um, for your romantic life, just your daily life in general. A sense of ease is going to be coming um, into your your um, your energetic field. You'll be able to, yeah, like slide through life, flow through life a little bit easier when you've been able to process and work through the shadows that are within all of us. I don't feel like it's only you, like they are within all of us. Okay, Scorpio, so that is your message for May 2020. If you enjoyed this tarot and oracle reading, please hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video. Love, light, and happiness to all of you. Have a fantastic day. Bye.